Never before has knowledge been as accessible as today in the internet. You sure can get lost easily, so you need to create tracks and trails through the jungle of information. Any browser you use offers a bookmarking tool to serve that purpose. But what are social bookmarks? Social bookmarks are stored and managed online. They are accessible by you on your PC, by any user of the web, and by you on any device connected to the web. Web services for social bookmarking are StumbleUpon, Dig, Reddit, IsuD, Mr. Wong, Delicious, and many others. In our opinion, Delicious is best suited to serve educational purposes. Delicious belongs to Yahoo, so if you don't have one, you have to create a Yahoo account to use Delicious. I do this really in a hurry because it's bothering me a bit. Finally, I arrive at Delicious and choose a web account name and install the Firefox add-on, which will, among other things, add delicious buttons to my browser. By the way, you can add these buttons to any browser as far as it doesn't date back to the Stone Age. Well, and here they are. Aren't they nice? Well, mainly they are useful. Let's switch to our project page and hit the tag button. What we get is the form to bookmark pages and we start right away with what you will very often do. Just enter tags and hit save. That's it. But wait, in this case I'd like to have more information connected to my bookmark. I like this phrase at the beginning of the text. Let's select it and hit the tag button again. The selected phrase is automatically inserted into the notes field of my bookmark. I could enter my own description here, up to 1000 characters, but uh, I'm too lazy now and happy for the help I just got. So let's move on and click on the My Delicious button. It shows my bookmarks on delicious.com on top of the one I just stored. Tags are shown, title, notes, and here is an edit link that enables me to change any information in my bookmark. No need to do so now, so I cancel this operation to further explore my Delicious account. Here is the bar to filter bookmarks by tag. You can easily add multiple tags to the filter to refine your results and remove tags again if you like. With every bookmark there's a number shown at the right. It says how many users have tagged that page. Let's look who tagged our project website. Interesting to see. Who is Alex Francisco? There's not much information I can find about her on Delicious, except her bookmarks. Looks like she's interested in the same subjects as I, so I add her to my network. On my account page, I click on the network link below my name to get a joint list of the bookmarks of all members of my network. On the right side, I find my members' names. I can explore the bookmarks of my network with the filter bar just the same way as shown before. Let's go and create a tag bundle. I click on the tags link on manage your tag bundles and on create, which gives me a form with two fields. I enter the name of my bundle into the first field the second field will contain the tags I want to bundle. All my tags are shown below and on click on a tag I can move it to the bundle. I can also type tags manually but beware of typos. Let's save the bundle and look how it works. On the right sidebar of my bookmarks page I find the bundle I just created, Education 2.0. Clicking on the bundle's name gives me a list of all the bookmarks that are tagged with at least one of the tags of my bundle.
There's more bundling on Delicious. I can also bundle members of my network. To do so, I have to visit my settings page and in the section People, I click on Edit Network Bundles and on Create. I define a name for my bundle and click on the names of the people whose bookmarks I want to follow via that bundle. I switch to my network page where all bookmarks of all members of my network are listed. Now I can refine this list to the bookmarks of the members of my new bundle only. Wouldn't this be a good method to connect the research work of your students, for example? The best method to follow tags is to subscribe to them. My subscriptions page shows the subscribe tags in the right sidebar. Clicking on any one of them gives me a list of the bookmarks of all users tagged with that term. On the subscriptions page and only on this page you find the link Add a subscription. You can refine your subscriptions to only the bookmarks of a specific user if you like. On the results page every bookmark shows all its tags. The tags you subscribe to are highlighted. My subscription of the tag eLearning is quite successful. Every day there are several web pages bookmarked and tagged with the expression. I go once more to the settings page of my account. In the section Tags I click Edit Subscription Bundles and Create. First I provide a name for my bundle. All tags I have subscribed to are listed below and I can select them for inclusion in my bundle. I click on Save and now my subscriptions page shows in its right sidebar the subscription bundle Education 2.0. Clicking on the bundle name gives me all bookmarks tagged with either one of the tags of my subscription bundle. In some cases you may want to add a special tag to existing bookmarks. I use the filter COP to list bookmarks I want to change. COP stands for Community of Practice. I click Bulk Edit and select all of the listed bookmarks. I have several options to edit. I choose Add Tag and enter Community of Practice. On OK this tag is added to all the selected bookmarks.